Hey traders, Akil Stokes here, Chief Currency Analyst at Trade Empowered, and I got a quick video for you. Just uh, want to give you a, a, a brief look at something that's on my radar for this morning. Now, I know we have a busy week ahead of us, both in the stock market and here in the currency market as far as it, uh, fundamentals and, uh, and earnings coming out. FOMC meeting starts today. We had GDP for the pound earlier, and we have a, just a slew of news coming out for different currency pairs. But um, that's not going to stop me from trading the plan. I, I don't expect, I didn't expect that much of an active week. And well, Monday was a moving day. Luckily, we were on the right side of it. And well, there's no reason to think we won't be on Tuesday as well. Um, that's why we trade the plan. But one of the things on my radar going into Tuesday is the New Zealand dollar 2618 trading opportunity. We've been looking at New Zealand for a while now. Um, we had an advanced pattern on here. We were playing around that structure level. We had the interesting area of breaking or, or holding on the daily and breaking above, closing above on the four hour, which kind of left us in no man's land. And like I always say, when in doubt, stay out. Jason called a nice short here. And well, we're we're setting up for another short. And again, 2618 opportunity. What the market is doing is this. We're coming up for a double top right up in here. Boom. We have top number one top number two we've then broken and closed in below our midsection here i don't really know what to call this the valley the peak but we've broken and closed in below structure and now we're looking to retest one more time so the move that i'm expecting is something like this break below close below giving us that rotation to a bearish uh bearish trend we're looking for a retest of previous structure again in the form of this double top and then we're looking for a rollover to the downside now for you guys that know the traditional 2618 rules, we're looking for that 618 as being our, um, this is being our, uh, I guess, uh, I got to think of a good name for it. It's, it's our entry mark, but it's not necessarily our entry mark. This is the first level where the market starts to become on our radar at this 618. But technically, we know that this trade is still valid until we get all the way up here. And again, I don't want to, um, being how this is a public video, I don't want to confuse you guys too much but we're looking at a completion zone anywhere from this 618 or a potential reversal zone anywhere from this 618 retracement uh to previous structure highs for this 2618 slash you know even kiss of death trade if it gets that high so i want to do my analysis and say uh just like with any trend continuation trade because that's really what it is a, a just a, a trend continuation trade with a little twist uh, i want to do my analysis and see where in this zone is the best potential point uh, or place for me to get short. And what I'm going to do is go down to my lower time frame here and start using my Fibonacci tools. We had a good discussion on this in the live room yesterday or uh, in, in our in our private training yesterday. And there's a few things I can do. I can take my Fibonacci extension from my swing low to my swing high right here. Actually, I actually have a, a few swing highs. Let's take the smaller one first. Swing low to swing high right here. Boom. You're going to see that gives me a 1618 right at 76.98. Thicken that up for you guys so you guys can see it. Bang. Let's take another one from this same swing low to this swing high. See what that gives us. That's going to, look at that. It's going to give us a 127 at that same level. I actually dragged this a little bit to the side if I can find it. That way you can see it a little bit. Um, let me just do this. Ah, oh, well. It's here. You guys can see it. Um, how about we do this? Uh, inside extreme right. Bang, there we go. So 1618, 127. Then if I take that Fibonacci inversion that we talked about yesterday from this inside move, we don't really need it, but it can add a case for entry. Again, we're going to get one more 1618 Fibonacci extension or inversion right at that same level. So if I had to narrow down this kill zone and ask myself, hey, Akio, where is this where is this pattern or where is this setup most likely to reverse at? I, I can feel pretty confident in saying that if I had to pick a zone, this uh, this one seven or this seventy six ninety four area is a good level to look. We also have that even handle right here, seventy seven flat. And if we learned anything from the pound Aussie trade yesterday, we know exactly how important these even handle numbers are. So, looking for an opportunity to get short. Now, I'm, I'm not an aggressive twenty six eighteen en uh, enterer entry taking person <laughs> english isn't my specialty guys it's trading I, I speak the markets i don't speak well with uh with words but um you can just see in general if we look at our risk reward here stops need to be above that double top 
we're going to have a terrific risk reward going to this trade, even if you were to just enter aggressively with a limit order on that mark, looking at a, a risk of about that much, looking at a reward coming right back down to previous structure, um, you're getting far more than a, a two to one here. So uh, something that's on my radar for today, I have a few other things out there as well. Syndicate members, I will share it with you through the trade floor. I just got short that Aussie dollar. So, you know, if New Zealand were to roll over as well, I would be a very happy camper. Um, but I'll see you guys in the live room. And until then, plan your trade, trade your plan. Best of luck in the markets uh, during this very, very busy fundamental week. Take care, guys. Oh, don't take care yet. Really, um, I forgot to say this. this is the whole point. Um, not the point, but if you want to learn about the 2618, guys, head over to our tradeempower.com website. Go to learn to trade. We do training on this. That's what I want to say because every time I post on the 2618, um, I, I get a kill. What, what, what the heck is the 2618? Where can I learn about it? Go to learn to trade. Scroll down. Go to the 2618 strategy. Click start this training now and you'll get the free, um, I think it was an hour session we did of uh, a year or so ago explaining the 2618 strategy, kind of the psychological, uh, the psychology behind it. And, um, you know, the rules for how we trading for how we trade it. And, uh, you know, some of the back testing numbers that I did on it as well. So, now I can send you off on your uh, your wonderful day of trading. Uh, good luck and I'll see you guys later.